Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Durazio, and I'm here with Chris Miner of the Morgan Hill Bookstore right here on Main Street in New London. And you've got to check them out because in case you didn't see their article in some famous news publication, <laughs> you want to see what's going on. And what publication did you happen to get into? That would be the Washington Post. Woohoo! <laughs> very, very exciting for us. We're very happy to have been mentioned. Yes, and how did that come about? There's actually a uh, son that lived locally last year when we took over the store that was interested in why we made the decision to take over a bookstore in the light of the technology age mm -hmm. where people are doing a lot of purchasing online. He wrote an article initially at the time of our you know, ownership of the store, the changeover, and then this was a follow-up article to it just because we made the one-year anniversary on July 1st. Good for you. Thank you very much. Well, there's something to be said about actually reading a book. I don't know about everyone else, but work communications, everything involves a screen with a light on it. And then it comes time to relax and I'm supposed to pick up the exact same screen and read a book. And it doesn't work for me. I want to see the book. Well, you're not alone, obviously. <laughs> There's, uh, we haven't done a study to know the exact numbers on what portion of the population feels the same way. We uh, only can tell by the stories. And we have a lot of kids that say the same thing. They spend a ton of time. They watch movies and videos and do quite a bit on the gadgets that they have, obviously through mobile devices, whether mm -hmm. it's phones or, you know, readers, but they're not reading as much on it, which is right. one of the big reasons why we decided and we always felt that there'd be a, a significant portion of the population that would continue to obviously read a book. And we've actually seen it on beaches and at vacation, which we're a big vacation town, right. where we've walked up and said, where are the readers? You know, why, right. why the paperbacks and why this and why that? And the answers were all the same. I, I, been on them as long as I could possibly be on it during the day and mm -hmm. we just like to unwind because there's no internet connection to it and there's no plug there's no need to have all these other things so you and know it really makes us feel good because obviously we've dedicated now our lives to trying to continue a real the legacy store. of the bookstore a real bookstore in a small quaint town and the, the wonderful thing about a bookstore is a bookstore isn't just shelves it's interaction with authors it's interaction with people reading the book and experiencing it are you going to have some more of your children's author series happening this summer? We actually are, yep. We uh, do a local event called Hospital Days in New London. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have Mary Lynn Ray, who's going to do some readings for some children. Well, her newest book, Dear Dancer. Mm -hmm. And when, through the summer as well, we have other events where we have other authors that come in. Not just children's authors, but a lot of consignment authors or local authors that come through town or that are releasing new books. Uh, Tommy DePaula obviously is right. <laughs> invaluable when it comes to being a local author here as well. So we always thank him, and he's going to normally do an event or two, you know, along the way as well. And hospital days, big way of giving back to the community, so connecting with that also helps. And I hate to say it, I know the kids back home aren't going to like it. I was a teacher, I know. Summer reading lists. Ah, uh, yes. They're and here. We, uh, they sure are, and we have quite a few of them in the store, and we've actually advertised quite a bit in a lot of the local, you know, mm -hmm. magazines and the Kearsar Shopper and those kind of things where we discount and do things for the kids too, as a way of giving back. Um, you know, for their reading lists. And, so if you're you know, tearing out your hair trying to find that book because your kid needs to read it in less than a week because they wait until the last Well, week. they always wait. Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to wait to the last. But again, you know, we are able to make a lot of recommendations for mm -hmm. things that we see on those lists because normally there's just 40 or 50 books and the children right. have no idea which direction to take or, you know, whether there's something that's not going to be you know, something they would normally read. So we can try to so help again, them So again, the value of having a local bookstore where you can talk to someone. Exactly. We know what these books are like. Kids don't like these. They like this one. Spend some good time with the book. You got it. Absolutely. More value. Absolutely. I mean, that's what our job is now, which is now one of the best things in my life because I read so much before, but now it's being part of the work experience and being able to read as much as I do now, I can't be blamed for taking time away from what I should be doing because now that is the job and that's that's the best part I think about that. I want that job one day. There you go. Well, thank you very much, Chris, at the Morgan Hill Bookstore. Whether you've got your kids' reading list, whether you're heading off to the beach or on vacation or on that long plane ride, you need to stop by, get your paperback, get that great nonfiction or fiction book that you've heard about. Don't forget, meet local authors here, and if you don't know what to read, ask them. They'll help you out. To check out more videos like this one, click here. And to find our YCN News, click here. You can find out more information about our guest today and find a link to the full show in the description below. With new videos every week, be sure you subscribe to our channel and keep up with everything that's going on in the Kearsarge region. Thanks for watching the Kearsarge Chronicle. Goodbye.